Hello everyone and welcome to ITLS Academy Empower the Youth. So today in this lecture we will going to study about centrifugation. So in this topic we will going to discuss about what is centrifugation, what is the principle behind centrifugation and what are their application in different types of industries and some important questions related to this topic. So basically this topic is divided into two parts. So today we will going to study about the introduction part of the centrifugation and in the next topic we will going to discuss about its different types that is ultra centrifugation and density gradient centrifugation. So let's get start with the topic and let's see the introduction part. So centrifugation is the process that uses centrifugal force for the separation of two liquids in a mixture. In this process, the denser component of the mixture migrate away from the axis and the lighter component migrate towards the axis. So the definition of centrifugation says that it is a process that is using a force that is known as a centrifugal force. And this force is used basically why this force is needed for the separation of two liquid. When you want to separate two liquid, in a mixture so this technique is used with the help of the force that is known as a centrifugal force so in this process the denser component of the mixture means if a mixture is containing two um, uh, uh, component so a, a, um, a component that has a denser that is denser or you can say a denser component that migrate away from the axis while the component that is in lighter component that component migrate towards the axis so here it is a uh, basically work of um, two or you can say here uh, two things are happening one the denser component that is migrating away from the axis whereas the lighter component that is migrated towards the axis now let's talk about the uh, objectives but before uh, objective let's see this diagram so this is a diagram or it is a equipment or uh, of centrifugation so you can just simply see you have also seen this in your laboratories so this is a uh, uh, whole machinery or equipment uh, of centrifugation and it is working uh, on the principle of centrifugal force now let's see the objective of centrifugation so that um, the first objective of centrifugation is it basically separate the immiscible liquid so a liquid that is not properly mixed so immiscible liquid is separated from the by this process since we have covered this point in our definition that it separate two liquids so obviously when a liquid is not properly uh, mixed together so the, the uh, those two liquid are separated and um, the denser will uh, uh, be away from moves away from the axis while the uh, lighter will uh, towards the axis move towards the axis so the first point is um, uh, already we have covered in the definition that uh, it uh, separates the immiscible liquid then the second is to purify the component by removing impurities in the supernatant liquid so for the purification of the component it is needed and so the uh, purification of the component it is done uh, basically by removing the impurities in the supernatant liquid so whenever you are removing the uh, impurities so this um, technique is used then to separate the crystalline drug from the mother liquid <clears throat> so the third point says it uh, uh, basically separate the crystalline liquid uh, sorry crystalline drugs and from the mother liquid then the fourth says to test the emulsion and separation of for creaming and sedimentation at an accelerated speed so these are certain objectives on uh, which this uh, centrifugation basically works and um, these are certain objectives now let's talk about the principle of centrifugation so the first principle says the centrifuge 
involves the the uh, uh, principles of sedimentation like the principle of centrifugation technique is to separate the particles suspended in liquid media under the influence of the centrifugal field there are places either in the tubes or bottle in a rotor or in the centrifuge so <clears throat> if we talk about the principle the first two principles says that centrifuge involves the principle of sedimentation so which principle matlab ki on which principle basically this um, centrifugation works on the principle of sedimentation so we all are aware with this term sedimentation it is a process of uh, you know um by which you purify water uh, how uh, the denser uh, part uh, remains uh, in the bottom of the beaker and the lighter uh, uh, liquid uh, means uh, the impurities get settled down in the beaker and uh, uh, by then uh, the water is poured into the filter and it is been purified further so this is the um, sedimentation so the principle of the centrifugation technique is to separate the uh, particles since the uh, what sedimentation is say, uh, doing it is separating the uh, 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 impurities Uh, that is present in the liquid by uh, by keeping it in the bottom the same principle is of the centrifugation uh, of sedimentation um, this centrifugation uh, works uh, or you can say depends so the principle of centrifugation technique is to separate the particles um, that are either separated uh, suspended in the liquid media um under the influence of the centrifugal field so these are placed either in tubes or bottle in the rotor in the centrifuge then the third point says sedimentation so what is sedimentation so sedimentation is again a phenomena where suspended material settle out of the field by gravity the suspended materials can be materials such as clay or powder that we have already discussed example tea leaves falling to the bottom of the tea cup so if you understand the sedimentation with the help of a daily to a household um, um, thing that whenever you make a tea so what um, whenever you are pouring a tea into a cup so you see that the tea leaves that settle into the bottom of that tea cup right so was this uh, what is the tea uh, tea leaves uh, here is the uh, impurities and you are getting the water that is uh, in the form of a tea so it is just an example to understand this uh, how it settled down into the bottom so uh, sedimentation uh, again it is a phenomena uh, that um, where the suspended material settled down uh, settled out of the uh, fluid uh, by the gravity and the suspended material can be a material um, such as powder such as clay or sometimes it is a, a dirt or a mud so the particle having a size more than 5 micrometer they are separated by a simple filtration process while the particles that have a size 5 micrometer or less than do not sediment under the gravity so the centrifugal force is useful to separate those two type those type of particles so if we talk about how it works <clears throat> so the particles that is having a size of 5 micrometer means any particle may uh, may have a, a size of 5 micrometer so they can simply they are simply separated by this simple um, filtration process but a particle that has a particle size less than 5 micrometer so um, those particles cannot be separated by the sedimentation technique so you need um, a, a method that is known as centrifugation and um, uh, through centrifugal force those material are separated now what is the process of centrifugation 
so what are the process so centrifugation consists of a container in which a mixture of solid and liquid or a two liquid is placed then this container is rotated at a very high speed when this container is rotated at a high speed mixture separated into a constant constituent part by the action of centrifugal force on their density the solid or a liquid of higher specific gravity is thrown out um, world with a greater force so what are the process of centrifugation so basically the centrifugation process um, it um, means the centrifugation it consists of a container and in those in that container um, uh, you put a uh, uh, in that container it uh, has a mixture of solid as well as a liquid or or sometimes they have a mixture of two liquids that is placed in that uh, container and then this container um, then it uh, is uh, placed in the rotated and uh, it is rotated with a very high speed and um, when this container is rotated at a very high speed mixture um, uh, get separated because of the centrifugal force so uh, how it do, uh, how uh, does it do so when this uh, container is rotated at a high speed mixture so uh, make um, a separated a mixture get separated into the constituent part by the action of centrifugal force on their density so the centrifugal force uh, act on their density and um, it get separated so this is the process of centrifugation means how the centrifugation basically take uh, occurs now comes uh, the solid or a liquid of a higher specific gravity is thrown out uh, world with a greater uh, uh, force now this is a process of centrifugation if you can see this is a clear liquid and this um, is a suspended liquid that are thrown to the bottom means this uh, has a, a clear liquid and this is a, um, uh, a suspended particle that are thrown at the bottom and you get the clear water so this is how the centrifugation process take place so th this arrow is showing that in this uh, manner uh it is rotating and uh, with the high speed and with the and this centrifugation force is uh, actually work uh, uh, acting on um, on this uh, uh, you can say uh, the density of the particle and uh, through this uh, by this uh, centrifugation forces they are separated and you get the clear liquid so in this way any two liquid liquid can also be separated or sometimes two solids are also get separated now comes how centrifuge works <clears throat> so the first one is um, so um, in this uh, says um, uh, tube 1 tube 2 and tube 3 so how it is working if you can see uh, in this test tube it has a sucrose solution this is uh, they, these are certain sucrose and these this is a liquid so it has a sucrose solution <laughs> then uh, this uh, sample is placed into this uh, and then it get uh, properly dissolved in uh, the uh, this uh, test tube 2 and then further uh, if you see the on this test tube is placed into the centrifugation um, chamber or machine and after that you see that uh, the sucrose and water get um, separated so sucrose that has a, a solution that uh, is placed in uh, behind uh, here and the um, sucrose that is not properly dissolved is play, is here so uh, these have a small dna size has a small size dna molecules these have some medium size dna molecule and these have certain large scale dna molecule and this um, ways it uh, work it uh, uses centrifugal force to get separated now again <clears throat> this is very important that how centrifuge means what are the different types of centrifugation so centrifugation is uh, of uh, various types some of the main centrifugation processes are like type of centrifugation is density gradient centrifugation differential centrifugation ultra centrifugation rate zonal centrifugation and isochronic 
centrifugation so centrifugation is also divided into different types right the three mean is density gradient second is uh, differential and the third is the ultra centrifugation further this density gradient centrifugation uh, it is divided into two parts that is uh, rate zonal centrifugation and um, second is the iso or uh, proconic uh, centrifugation so what is the difference between uh, this uh, centrifugation so if we talk about uh, the difference bit differentiate between uh, centrifugation and filtration but before understanding what is the difference uh, between the centrifugation and filtration because in i think most of the uh, students will say that uh, uh, both uh, the techniques uh, are somewhat same means uh, if we talk about uh, centrifugation and filtration then uh, both are of the same thing but no both are uh, of difference so both has some difference so we will going to uh, talk about the, the difference um, uh, later on but before that we will going to study about the types of uh, centrifugation basically we will going to cover this uh, type of centrifugation in our next lecture in a detail but today i am just giving you an overview uh, means uh, of the types of centrifugation so uh, as already we have discussed that centrifugation is basically of three types means um, density gradient differential and ultra centrifugation so what do you understand by this term um uh, density gradient okay so in density gradient uh, it allows the separation of many or you can say uh, all component whenever there uh, these component are present in a mixture and they allows for the measurement also so there are basically two forms of uh, density gradient centrifugation one is the rate zonal centrifugation and the second one is a um, uh, isochronic centrifugation okay so what they are doing they are just allowing or you can say they are just separating uh, many of the component that is present in the mixture so um, so this is the density gradient now let's talk about uh, the uh, rate zonal centrifugation so again in the rate zonal centrifugation the solution has a density gradient so here uh, this uh, uh, rate zonal solution it also has a solution that has a density so what does they do the sample has a density so um, it has a, a greater than all the layer of the solution so the sample is applied in a very thin zone at the top of the centrifuge tube on a density gradient so due to or you can say under the centrifugal force the particle will begin sedimenting through the uh, gradient so the particle will begin sedimenting in a separate zone according to the size and shape or you can say the density so that is the reason it is known as a rate zonal centrifugation and because of uh, uh, its uh, density size and shape it is known as the uh, den uh, it is one of the type of a density gradient centrifugation now let's talk about the another type of centrifugation that is the isochronic centrifugation so if we talk about the isochronic centrifugation so in this type of centrifugation the source the solution uh, they contains a greater range of densities so the density gradient contains the whole range of the densities of the particle in the sample pool stop each particles with sediment only to the positions in the centrifuge tube at which the gradient density is equal to the phone density so in the sedimentation centrifugation separation of particles occurs into the zone based on their density difference independent of time now next is the differential centrifugation so the differential centrifugation is a common procedure in the microbiology or you can say in the cytology where you study the cells use and it is very much useful to separate certain organelles uh, for further analysis of the specific part of the cell 
so <coughs> in again in this process a uh, tissue sam sample is uh, uh, first homogenized means they get mixed properly through a homogenizer and uh, generalized uh, to break the cell membrane and they again mix up with the cell content the homogenite is then subjected to re repeated centrifugation each time remove in the plate and increases the centrifugal force now comes what is an uh, ultra centrifugation so ultra means um, uh, what do you understand by ultra ultra means large so as um, uh, one uh, one is the scientist known as sidberg uh, sidberg and he coined the word as ultrafugation he was uh, a chemist he used ultra fuse to determine in um, this term and the first um, commercial ultra fuse was uh, uh, produced in 1940s um, so it is a very important tool whenever it's a biochemical research um, is uh, done so in the in this also particles uh, get separated and uh, due to the centrifugal force so on the suspended particles and particles get separated from each other now let's understand ultra centrifugation with the help of a um, um, example so a red cell may be separated from the plasma of the blood nuclei from the mitochondria and cell or, or homogenate and one protein from another in a complex mixture so this is um, uh, something about uh, ultra uh, centrifugation so <clears throat> now let's talk about the difference between centrifugation and filtration so a uh, fil uh, filtration uh, in this blood is pumped through a membrane with the pores allowing the plasma to pass through that twist as uh, it uh, retaining the uh, blood cells whereas the centrifugation it is basically based on the specific gravity of the blood component and um, in some uh, instrument it is based on the cellular size then comes the available for the hollow fiber materials and it is used in a um, uh, older devices in the parallel plate membrane whereas uh, all the amphiresis um, uh, uh, devices needed to able to control the separation factors now comes the application of centrifugation this question is very important from the exam point of view because this um, questions uh, generally came in uh, the examination and um, generally this uh, question has a huge impact uh, whenever you are giving any interviews or whenever you are um, having any examination because in the interviews also they can ask you um, uh, how the centrifugation basically works on which principle the centrifugation is working because if you are applying for any micro lab or in the industry so these are generic questions that an interviewer may ask you they can also ask you the applications of centrifugation so centrifugation it um, in, uh, the application is uh, it is a uh, used or have an application in the production of bulk drugs then uh, it has a production of biological product and um, third is the evaluation of suspension and emulsion then fourth is the determination um, of molecular weights of collides then in separating the chalk powder from water in removing the fat from the milk to produce a skimmed milk that uh, is present into the market if you see uh, there are different types of the uh, milk that are present in the market whenever you don't want to have a uh, so much fat content or so the uh, for, for the fat is removed <coughs> from the milk so by which technique it is removed uh, by the help of the centrifugation it is used then uh, clarification and stabilization of uh, wine uh, this up uh, in this uh, step whenever you want to clarify or stabilize the, the uh, alcohol or wine so uh, this uh, centrifugation has a huge um, uh, application in a biopharmaceutical industries it has a great impact uh, for the analysis of drugs then uh, uh, it has a great uh, application in the use of in water treatment uh, where you want to separate impurities from the water 
so this uh, centrifugation is again very much important because it's basically work in the separation of two immiscible liquid or um, two um, solid and liquid uh, removing water from the lettuce after washing uh, uh, in uh, it in a salad spinner so these are certain um, uh, applications on which uh, um, uh, um, under which uh, centrifugation is uh, used now comes an important thing uh, like uh, some of the uh, questions that may help uh, make uh, me asked in the in uh, interview means uh, what what is the principle of centrifugation so already we have uh, discussed about this uh, uh, principles of centrifugation then they can ask you how does the centrifugation separate the uh, mixture means uh, warm, um, you, in this way they are asking about the working of um, uh, this uh, centrifugation so we have already discussed uh, with the help of a uh, diagram you can uh, relate to this slide for this uh, question like a uh, process of centrifuge sorry this one to how it is working this also diagram you can explain then comes uh, the what is centrifuge used for of course for the separation of uh, two particles what are the different types we have already discussed and what does centrifuge means so these are certain five questions that uh, uh, has a huge importance whenever you are giving any examination or any interview now let's quickly discuss one thing that, that i have missed uh, you must be aware of uh, uh, what is a centrifugal pump or, or I am writing on a blank as I, so you can easily note it down somewhere what is a centrifugal fugal pump okay so what is a centrifugal pump centrifugal pump so basically a centrifugal pump um, uh, it is a uh, you can understand uh, it is a very uh, it is a hydro hydraulic uh, machine uh, that uh, you know convert uh, mechanical energy to the hydraulic energy by the use of centrifugal force so that is the reason it is known as centrifugal pump because it is using a centrifugal force and it is converting the uh, mechanical energy to the hydraulic energy and uh, by a centrifugal force so it works on the principle that when a pressure head increases whenever you are increasing the pressure head so um, of uh, increases so its tangential velocity also get increases means whenever you are increasing the pressure head so the tangential uh, tangential uh, velocity is also get increases so you can okay, you should always remember that what is a centrifugal pump so centrifugal pump it is a type of a machine that generally works uh, on a higher it is a sorry you uh, you can say it is a hydro hydraulic machines and uh, which converts the mechanical energy into the hydraulic energy and whenever it is converting the mechanical energy into a hydraulic energy um, uh, uh, by the uh, force that is known as centrifugal force so this is about what is a centrifugal for pump is so that's bring to the end of the lecture i hope you have understood the lecture if you have any doubt anything related to the lecture you can just simply leave your queries in the comment section below in the next lecture if i will be having any queries related to the lecture i'll be answering that and uh, you can follow itls academy on uh, instagram facebook twitter youtube whatsapp and linkedin you can subscribe itls academy on youtube and uh, you just press the bell icon to get more lectures 
and you can visit our website that is www.itlsacademy.com this is our helpline number that is 7080833450 you can simply call on this number if you are facing any query or you, if you want to do any training or um, any uh, industrial training or anything you can just simply call on this number and get updated uh, we also provide in-house training and as well as the industrial training links and uh, you can get uh, uh, this uh, uh, app of ITLS Academy on Google Play Play so you can simply go on Google Play and get uh, downloaded this uh, app of itls academy so thank you again for watching please do like share and subscribe and yes student please don't forget to press the bell icon to get more update thank you